You want to go for a ride? You want to go riding shotgun? All right, all right. I think Alfie's in. I think Alfie is in on this uh, windy but very beautiful Tuesday, October 30th. Welcome to Riding Shotgun with Tupper. <laughs> And we're taking the hound along today. It's so nice. He just wants to run and and get some of the stink blowed off her. <laughs> She's having fun. Um, well, holy moly, what a bumpy weekend for Illini football. You know, I wrote that column last Friday basically saying, you know, this ain't working. And if it's going to work... We need to see it now. And I questioned, you know, I, I personally have a really high regard for Hardy Nickerson. I think once you get to know Hardy, and particularly once we got to know him as a father, you know, when Hardy Jr. showed up, uh, Hardy Jr. was such a good kid, and and um, you could see a lot of great parenting had happened there. I had a lot of respect for Hardy for that. But, but uh, his job is to uh, produce a quality defense as the defensive coordinator or at least um, keep that if it's if it's Lovey's job to produce it then it's uh, Hardy's job to orchestrate it from week to week and and that has been failing miserably and uh, and I questioned what evidence there was to suggest that Hardy was you know a, a good college coach of a defense and and uh, lo and behold what happened the next that was on Friday Saturday they gave up 63 points and over 700 yards to Maryland. That was embarrassing. Um, Hardy resigned. That was unexpected. Um, I don't have any reason to believe that he was forced out um, by either Josh or Lovey. I think they would have said so, as much. And yet I, the business about health issues, you know, I, I don't know anything about that. I hope there's nothing serious there. It might be something like simply the pressures and stress of having a defense collapse around you and having just a horrible game Saturday and then you get a call at 1.30 or 2 in the morning that Larry Oladipo, a defensive lineman, has been arrested on a domestic charge. You know, I mean, oh man, I can't, I can't imagine it. Um, so, Lovey takes over the defensive play calling. Uh, maybe that's a good thing. I don't know. It wasn't, wasn't working otherwise. And um, Larry o Oladipo suspended. Um, you know, the defensive collapse has been the story of this football season, and he didn't want that to be the case. Uh, the defense has gotten worse, not better. Um, it's just, it's remarkable. There's four games left to go, including Saturday's home game against Minnesota. Minnesota was a game that we all looked at as, uh, you know, okay, there's a winnable one, you know, you playing well, playing better, win this game. And now um, you can't look at any of the four games they have left on the schedule and pencil them in as, as potential wins. I can't. Um, it's just... Uh, it's just too unlikely with this defense playing the way it has. It's been uh, hugely disappointing. And, um, you know, Josh, it puts Josh Whitman in a really difficult spot. Uh, he does not want to make a coaching change now, this season, this off season, whatever. Um, for one, it's expensive buyout. You remember how Levy's contract was structured? more money at the back end than the front end. Uh, number two, you know, Josh believes, as I do, in continuity, that these changes are a step backward. You know, they've got a couple of great recruits commit committed. Um, you probably lose both of those um, if you shake up this coaching staff that to that degree. Um, it's just a it's a really awkward situation, and yet you bring—if you bring Lovey back, how do you sell that? 
who comes in uh, and takes is willing to take over as defensive coordinator in what will clearly look to everybody like a one-year situation. Um, it's just, and then how do you continue to recruit? It's just, there's no easy answers. The, the, the best possible solution would be for Lovey to be able to push the buttons that gets this defense playing better, that all of a sudden they rise up. Maybe they've had an, a, an awakening here with Lovey's, uh, excuse me, with Hardy's resignation. Everyone plays better. They knock off Minnesota. There's a, you know, some kind of an unexpected resurgence and a feel-good burst. I'm not saying that's possible. I don't even expect it to happen. But, but if if they continue to play poorly for the final four games of the season, I, I don't. I don't like any of the answers. It's really rough. Um, it makes you, and we've been in this position many times before, my friends, it makes you pine for basketball. And basketball begins Friday night with an exhibition game against Illinois Wesleyan at the State Farm Center. I will not be there for that game. I know it's not on TV. I, we, I think we have 12 people coming to dinner. So I'm just probably going to miss it and rely on... Uh, Joey Wagner from the Herald Review to uh, inf to let me know what all happened, and um, it's just uh, uh, you know it just can never be easy, can it? It's just never easy. Um, but we'll see what happens here this weekend. Um, wow, what will attendance be Saturday? Mm. You know, you give up 46, 43, and 63 points, or 46, 49. And 63 points and you know the yardage they're giving up the big plays oh my lord it's just it's just really an awful situation so um, we will see and um, but it was embarrassing over the weekend and uh, just sad uh, to see Hardy resign um, I, you know I, I can't say that I don't understand it that's not the point the point is he's a really good guy and was a terrific NFL linebacker, and it hasn't translated into being a uh, uh, a guy who can operate a college defense. It just has not happened, and um, that's a shame. So um, we'll see. We'll keep you keep you informed. We'll be back here next Tuesday, and uh, and uh, talk about what's happened over the weekend, both football and basketball. And I uh, appreciate you riding along today. And there goes Alfie. I don't know if I can get a quick shot of her before.